You know, I guess there are several approaches. I could imagine that you either have a fundamental training in biology, and then you have to be aware of the fact that you need to learn a lot of physics. Maybe it's the other way around easier, that you start out with a good physics training, which would include a lot of mathematics, which you need more and more from simulation, from data handling, from data analysis, from modeling of what you have discovered, what you have measured. So in that sense, I guess it is important that you have your core competence in one of the classical disciplines, but then exposing yourself to the other world. And this is a little biased by my own experience. I had a classical solid state physics training all the way to the master's thesis and master degree. And then I switched to a biology department and I discovered that was a pure coincidence because biophysics at the time was sometimes in a physics department and sometimes in a biology department. But in my case, I had the privilege that my thesis advisor was a member of the faculty of a biology department. So I was all of a sudden surrounded by biology. It was a very modern biology with a lot of genetics and molecular and cell biology. But it was something that I discovered later, how important that was, this exposure to the bio world. And so in that sense, I was maybe even more so in the later stages when I had my own students coming from various disciplines that I experienced how important it is to expose himself to a different cultural setting in a different discipline. Because the problem with this interdisciplinary work is that you need to be competent in two areas. But the problem is how do you manage to be sufficiently competent in two areas? And I always recommend it to my own students. If you're a chemist and you want to do biophysics, fine. But you will be maintaining your identity as a chemist. This is where your main creative contributions may come from. If you're a physicist, don't try to become a biologist because you will never be able to compete with the real biologist. But your strength is having both. And so in that sense, I guess it's really something that we also need to perhaps reconsider the paradigm for training people. Uh, but on the other hand, I think there is nothing wrong in having a good, solid classical training in one of the classical disciplines, and then go beyond that.